Hello dear children. How are you all? I welcome you all to the next session of English grammar. So are you ready? Very good. Children, today we are going to do nouns. Do you know what are nouns? Okay. Let me tell you. Nouns they are the names. N for nouns, N for names. Do you know what is a name? Do you have a name? Yes, everything, everyone has a name. A noun is a person, place, animal or thing. Actually, it means the name of any person. For example, girl, boy, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, Mrs. Jones. Yes, when you speak these words, you are able to understand. What are you talking about? Similarly, they are the names of place. Like school, home, playground. So, when you tell someone, where are you going? Do you speak any of these words? Yes, that means these are the names of places. Similarly, when we see a dog, bee, frog, cow, wizard, when we use these words, then only we understand which animal are we talking about? That means they are the names of animals also. Now, in the same way, children, when you have anything in your hand, like book, flower, shoe, pencil, each thing is different from other thing. So, how are you able to understand which thing are you having? Only when you call a name of it, isn't it? So, nouns are actually naming words. They are the names that you are using for any person, any place, any animal or any thing. Children, let us see more about nouns. Okay. Students, we have many kinds of nouns and today we are going to study about common and proper nouns. So, are you ready? Yes. Let us see what do we have in today's video for you. We have first common nouns. Children, Common means something is common. That means a general word used for any person, any place, anything or any idea. Just like girl is different from a boy. Building is different from a station. Book is different from a table. Idea we are going to do in the next session. Now, when I spoke all these words girl, boy, building, station, book, table, have I specified you which thing? It can be any boy, it can be any girl, it can be any school, it can be any building, it can be any book. It can be any table. So, these words, they are common nouns. Alright? Because they are used as a general word. Let us see next. Okay. Now, children, when I tell you that I am talking about a man, the name of the man is George Washington. That means 
I have given you a specific name for a person. So when you are using a specific name, then that noun becomes your proper noun. All right. Similarly, let's say we are talking about a place. The name of the place is Arizona. So now we are specifically talking about Arizona. So Arizona word becomes our proper noun. Let us say another example. When I tell you I have a book, but when I tell you I have a book named Romeo and Juliet, that means I am giving you a particular book. The name is Romeo and Juliet. So this Romeo and Juliet, which is a particular name, is my proper noun. Let us see certain more examples, which will help us to understand this topic in a better way. So see, children, common noun can be any person, like sit or a place or a thing, like city can be any city, girl. Can be any girl, teacher. Can be any teacher, store, restaurant, drink, country. It can be anything. Any restaurant, any drink, any country. So these words they are actually are common nouns. All right. But when you give a specific name to any of them, like New York. It is a particular name of a city. Kate. It is a particular name of a girl. Miss Smith. Is a particular name of a teacher. Walmart. It is a particular name of a store. McDonald's. Is a particular name of a restaurant. Coke. Is a specific drink. Mexico. Is a specific country. So these specific names which we are using. They become proper nouns. Is that clear? Let us see what do we have next. So, children, in the same line, we have some more examples. When you say we are on a planet, the word planet can be any planet, so it is a common noun. But when you say the name of our planet is Earth, so you are providing a specific name. So the word earth becomes your proper noun. All right. Similarly, if I say I am a girl, now again I can have any name. But when I say my name is Suzanne, so I am telling you my particular name. So Suzanne word becomes a proper noun. In the same way, when you say this is a month going on. Then the word month is a common noun because it can be any month. But when you say the name of the present month is July, so you are actually providing a specific name to your month. So the word July becomes your proper nouns. All right. Now there is a specific information. Children, proper nouns always begin with capital letters. And you should always remember this. All right. Now, to explain further, let us see the main difference between a proper noun and a common noun. As you have already understood, a proper noun is used for a specific, means particular, person, or place, or thing. Certain examples to clear it are given. Volvo. It is a particular name of a car. So Volvo is a proper noun. Car is a common noun. Nescafe is a particular name name of a coffee. So Nescafe is a proper noun. Coffee is a common noun. Cadbury. It is a particular name of a chocolate. So Cadbury is a proper noun. Common noun is the word chocolate. All right. So we can say a common noun is used for a class of person, place, or a thing. 
Class here means particular card. Any, any, it could be any category. But when you provide a particular name to it, it becomes a proper noun. Alright. Let us see what next we have about proper noun and common noun. Yes, children, always remember that proper noun answers a question, what is its name? When you see something and you ask, what's its name? That means you are asking a proper noun about it. Okay? And common noun answers the question, what is it? Let us have an example. When you say, what is it? If you answer, it is a bridge. The word bridge here is your common noun. And when you ask, what's its name? That means, you are asking a particular name of it. So, when you say Tower Bridge. So, these two words Tower Bridge are your proper nouns. Alright? And remember, they are beginning with capital letters. Okay? Now, yes, there is one more and very important information. Children, most of the time we just capitalize anything, anywhere. That means, we just use a capital letter, anything and anywhere, where we think it is important. No, it is not like that. Do not give a common noun a capital letter just because it sounds important to you. No. Example, you are a valued client. Now, client can be important word for you, but if you write it in capital letter, this will be completely wrong. The correct statement should be, you are a valued client with small letter. Why so? Because it is not a proper noun. You are not telling any particular name of a client. So, it cannot be written in capital letter. Alright? Always remember, I am again reminding you, only a proper noun is written with a capital letter because it is a name or a title. Now, next we have an exercise for you. Always remember what we have just learned all about common nouns and proper nouns. Wow, this will be a great fun. You have to match the following common nouns with the proper nouns. And can you see? There is a clue given. Proper noun is a special name. Common noun is a common name. So, this is the basic understanding of this topic. Remembering this rule, try and do this match the following. We have column A in which 10 common nouns are given. City, country, river, school, man, girl, cartoon character, continent, festival, monument. We have column B which has the proper nouns. Mickey Mouse, St. Mary Convent, Shalini, Republic Day, Red Fort, Amar Mathur, Delhi, Japan, Brahmaputra, Asia. Now you have to see these proper nouns are Actually, the proper nouns of which common nouns? So, take your time, enjoy doing this activity and write the proper answers in the front. Uh, you can write in front of column B. The numbering which you think should be written as per the correct choice picked up by you. Please don't forget proper nouns. They are beginning with capital letter. They are particular or special names of your common nouns. And common nouns are actually the general name of any person, place or thing. I'm sure you must have got your answers. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm very excited to show you the answers. Are you feeling excited? Very good. Let us see our answers. Get, set, go. Here are the answers for you. 
Okay, let us see how many of you have got all correct. So we have city Delhi. G is number one. Country Japan. H is number two. River Brahmaputra. I is number three. That means Brahmaputra is the name of a river. School B. Saint Mary Convent. Number four. Man Amar Mathur. That is the name of a man. F is number five. Girl Shalini. C is number six. Cartoon character Mickey Mouse. You all know that Mickey Mouse is the name of a cartoon character. So A is number seven. Continent number eight. It is Asia. That is name of a continent. Festival it is number nine. D Republic Day. You know it is a national festival. And the last but not the least, monument. The name of the monument is Red Fort. Alright, E is number 10. So, how many of you got it all correct? Give a clap to yourselves. And never mind, those who have not got, keep learning. That should be the way. Alright. So, children, I thank you a lot for watching this video. And I hope now onwards you will never make mistake in finding your proper nouns and common nouns. And do play this activity with your friends as well. You can ask them a proper noun for any common noun. Okay? Keep learning. Go through the video again. I hope it must have cleared your concept about proper and common nouns. Till the next video, keep watching. Bye.